Hello, I hope you are doing well. My name is Linda, also known as Torta Jala around the internet. I love creative journaling and all things stationary. And this is another episode in my Traveler's Notebook journaling uh, playlist where I'm doing some documentation and reflection about my creative goals and the progress um, in this camel traveler's notebook that I won from a giveaway from the lovely dabbling in journals here on YouTube. So inside I have a super lightweight paper insert and to be honest I have been neglecting this journal because I've just been in a bit of confusion regarding my creative goals and progress and I've taken the time to reflect and attempt to plan things out but, you know, it can simply just be like a bit sad and discouraging when you try to do things, but you don't get the results. Um, and you keep trying, you know, you hope things will improve, um, but time passes and things are just sort of bleh and um, it's all just sort of flat. And more than anything, the disappointment, it makes you want to give up, even though I mean, I know deep down I will never give up, but all these creative dreams, you know, the hope is to figure out some way to make my creative work be my full-time job and not have to do the hourly paid freelance work, which is the bulk of what I do now as a graphic designer. Um, it's very tied to, you know, pleasing clients, um, often harsh deadlines because clients always wanted things yesterday and of course I'm thankful to have any work at all uh, because I am you know a stay-at-home mom but at the same time I do need to work in order to earn money so it's all just like a mishmash uh, in terms of the situation and my oldest child is over 11 years old I have three kids and I've been trying to work on all of this creative stuff you know side hustle for many years in hopes of building it up um, but you know all the while also life you know so on one hand I have to admit that perhaps I'm not getting the results because you know how much time am I really putting into it but on the other hand I have a lot of anxiety around um, if all of these efforts have been worth it at all, if it will work, you know, at all one day, if, um, you know, if I try to shift more time into creative work and always working to optimize and be more productive and create more work, you know, will it even bring the results? And of course, the obvious important thing, like, will it bring more income? Because otherwise, I have to put my time you know, in the paid work in order to survive. Um, okay, so this is getting to be like a confessional or something, oh my. But um, I started this insert a while back and you can check out the playlist um, because I have recorded basically episodes um, from receiving this Traveler's Notebook to the setup um, from the like very beginning and then each episode sort of when I journal and create spreads. Um, but I basically decided to first put down some of my goals and dreams and document all of the creative work and experimentations and attempts that I have done because, you know, I have an Etsy shop, I have print-on-demand shops, I sell stock graphics. Um, right now I'm on Ko-fi trying to build up a community there. So first I wanted to like remind myself of the things that I have created and the experience I do have under my belt and even if it seems like the results um, are a bit lackluster, um, I have to remind myself and remember that a lot of work has been done and a foundation is there. Um, so I can't remember when was the lot like in the last episode at what point I got up to but let me just flip through from the beginning um, on the front here this sticker is from Brandy Kincaid I just thought it was motivational and in the insert itself I had first did some journaling about getting this traveler's notebook and the insert and all the supplies and what I wanted to use it for and basically all the pages have been me sort of journaling and just documenting the designs, pattern papers, printables that I have created in the past years, whether they be freebies on the blog or sold in a shop or elsewhere, um, sort of taking stock of everything and reflecting on my own work. 
and it's definitely been helpful to sort of focus and see it all together in one place. I think sometimes it's easy to forget that I've created anything at all, you know? But like when you document it and put it all together, um, it does make like a different impact. I would encourage you to do something like this, to like collate all of the things in one place uh, of a certain subject that matters to you so that you can look at it all together. I think the process can be very inspiring and helpful, uh, especially when you're feeling down or in confusion. Um, I have created and designed many printables and I've gotten good feedback and there has been some success. Um, so I've definitely learned from my experiences and I definitely, you know, can do the thing, like design the things and create the things. Um, but, you know, obviously there's a long way to go. And um, I've definitely journaled a lot in here, many, many pages. Um, reflecting on maybe what I could have done differently if uh, there have been, you know, failures or lackluster results and just other points to consider. And really I'm trying like to talk to myself. It's like having a meeting with myself um, to try and help myself to plan better for the future and take, you know, um, maybe more strategic action um, rather than just obviously going through and doing the same things because if you do the same things you're going to get the same results right um so of course it's impossible to include like every single thing that i've ever designed in my life um but i think this is a good overview of the designs like previews paper packs and things like that um so this insert it's part like documentation as well as um you know journaling of my thoughts and I've basically kept it simple in terms of layout because in the beginning I was trying to do like different things but now I'm really just adding in the printables and journaling um, on the other side of the page so that I don't have to fight with like the ghosting um, because this is a super lightweight paper it's super thin and see-through and I've always said like I don't know if I know how to properly like use this paper like um, you know for what it's meant for um, but I've been writing with this 0.38 Uniball 1P gel pen um, and I started doing this because I really like I was trying to save space I guess I don't know I was writing small and I just continue that way and now I'm realizing like it's sort of scratchy like this isn't really like the best for the journaling experiences um, like experience but for the sake of consistency I'm just like keeping with it I don't know does that make sense um, I don't know if I might change this up when I'm ready um, which can also be like a stylistic or signal of a changeover in this whole documentation process so that's that's interesting like maybe I can change pens and write differently when I have more clarity and have a new plan to act upon um, but I um, up to here at this point and this is one of the latest papers that I've created and it's posted on my Kofi for my members to download it's part of a pack of six pattern papers that members can download to use in their journaling scrapbooking and paper crafting in general and so my next step after all of this reflection um, I would like my next step to be more structured to document like the specifics and um, like if I do XYZ and then like write it down and then like plan it, do it, and then document the results and see if it worked or didn't work. And really just try to be like more strategic um, because if this is gonna be a viable business kind of thing, you have to be, you know, that business mindset, the functional, I don't know. Um, it makes me think like business boss, like very masculine kind of things because I think oftentimes there's that group of people who are very good at being like clear cut in that way rather than having a lot of the feelings and emotions very much attached to what they do which is like totally me um so um it's fine to be touchy-feely and all that kind of thing but like if it makes me just go in circles and I'm not getting the results then it's it's not really the best way you know um so that's the update update for this journal so far thank you so much for listening in I really appreciate it and of course if you have any words of encouragement or advice I could definitely use it um please don't hesitate to comment down below and of course 
if you love journaling and you love using digital printables, um, I would love it if you could support me over on Ko-fi. I am building my community there, so you can check out the link in the description to find out more. Basically, if you join as a member, you'll get access to all of the paper downloads and printables that I've posted in the past year, so it's loads of stuff. And of course, there's also a shop to buy one-off items, and there's also freebies posted in a shop to try out. I also have a blog at tortajala.com, and everything on my blog is free. Um, you can go there and get some printables and try it out for yourself. Um, any kind of um, visiting of my blog and everything definitely does help with the revenue because it is like an ad-generated or, or ad-driven kind of blog, right? Um, so thank you again for watching and supporting me. Um, until next time, bye!